specific goals. One is to demilitarize Japan. Secondly, to democratize Japan. Very good. And actually, he, his policies, some of the policies are very good, like the reform in the economic system, labor movement, and especially uh, for uh, the status of women. The woman got the vote. So that kind of social improvement did take place. But as far as Hiroshima and Nagasaki were concerned, I think he practiced totally opposite of what he claimed he came to Japan for. Uh, first of all, the research agency was established. It was called Atomic Bomb Casualty Commission. Sounds like medical research center. So people were very happy because they have been longing for medication. No, not, no medication available. So they expected some kind of help and the medical experts with the new knowledge about this mysterious uh, symptoms people are suffering from. But soon we have to find out that agency, ABCC, was to study the effect of radiation of the atomic bomb to the human bodies. That was the sole purpose of the research, not to provide treatment to the dying people, agonizingly suffering people. Well, you can just imagine how survivors fell. They fell not just once, but twice treated as a guinea pig. Then, media got the censorship from the occupation forces headquarters. If the local paper writes something about people's suffering caused by the atomic bomb, and uh, those companies publish such articles, had to be closed down for a certain period of time. Such things were not to be published. Not only that, the conf confiscation started taking place. Confiscation of diaries. People do keep their diaries or personal correspondences, or some poems and haikus and so forth, and Japanese love to write. When you are full of pain, somehow you ease your pain by expressing them in the form of poems and so on. All pictures, negatives, slides, films, Anything which show human suffering due to the atomic bomb, those things had to be confiscated. I understand it was about 32,000 items in all. They were shipped back to the United States. So you can imagine, with, I just gave you a few examples, with those things happening around, and people quickly get the message, we are not supposed to talk about what we experienced. And people figured out, okay, <coughs> it was all right for the paper to write about triumphant victory of the science and technology in producing that kind of work. But to write about unspeakable 
horror and suffering of human beings. As a result of that, is not to be known by the world. Well, this is a kind of oppressive, depressive environment in which people have to survive. Um, uh, let me jump.